Hey guys, it's Leah, and today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour and so I'm so excited to share it with you. You guys have all been asking me so much to see all of it and I'm making it as in-depth as I can. It's... I don't know how it's going to turn out. So if it's awful, I deeply apologize. I'm doing my best. There were a lot of books to film. You don't realize how much is on your shelf till you try to film it all. <laughs> so I also realized I need to get a tripod. I hope you guys enjoy this. It'll be interesting. I hope editing Aaliyah can really pull this whole thing together because she's the only one who can save the video. Let's not let's not judge bookshelves either because it's kind of messy and it's an organized, unorganized mess, if that makes sense. But without further ado, let's get into the bookshelf. Please enjoy. First shelf is my hardcover shelf and it is my favorite one and that might just be because Addie LaRue was on it. I have my own books that I printed myself. Next are all my yearbooks and my newspapers from when I wrote for the newspaper. Here is my small collection of middle grade books. I got this on a road trip. I don't even know what kind it is. It's just super pretty. Moving on though, we have my hardback contemporary romances. I love this part of my shelf so much. These are all such good books. I also have random books that I use as bookends. I don't even have the spines facing out. That concludes all of my contemporary and romances and now we have fantasy books. I buy a lot of these which is funny because I only read them in the winter time. Wrapping up my fantasy collection is a Harry Potter movie collection, and that is all for fantasy. Now we have historical fiction hardbacks. I got this mug at Disneyland, and of course I got the bell one with all the books. Next is a current read that I actually have not started despite the bookmark in the middle of it. These light up blocks are from TJ Maxx I believe and they spell out the word read and next to them is my small little section of sci-fi hardbacks. is that shelf moving down we have my thrillers and mysteries with a little fake plant next to it and a harry styles vinyl this might be a little bit of an unpopular opinion but i actually like this album better than the fine line one On the bottom shelf, I have a very dusty record player and a Stranger Things vinyl. And there you have it, my whole first bookshelf of hardbacks. And now we have all of my paperback books, although there are some hardbacks on it. On the top shelf, we have some more books that I wrote and printed myself using CreateSpace. Here we have all of my beloved historical fictions and classics. Thank you. 
here we have all of my sci-fi and dystopians and my three cinder copies that everyone always asks about. To explain my three cinder copies, a couple years back I went to a Marissa Meyer signing and I already owned a copy of Cinder but when I went to the signing I bought the whole series again and got it signed and I accidentally bought two cinders instead of a cinder and a cress so I ended up with three cinder copies. Down here we have my paperback middle grade. A Snicker of Magic was my absolute favorite all through elementary school. Then we have my Harry Potter section and I have the illustrated editions of the first two books which I absolutely adore. They are the cutest things ever. Then I have this little rock that says Espresso Patronum with a coffee cup on it. It's so cute, my grandma found it for me. Down here we have some more fantasy. I love this section so much. I also love how throughout this entire thing I'm just aggressively shaking books to show you what is on my shelf. On that same shelf is my sad little poetry collection of two books. I enjoyed both these so much. I would actually love to get way more poetry books, but I never seem to actually like pick any up. Below that are my contemporary and romances. And then next to that is a little stack of just random books and then my thrillers and mysteries. I have absolutely no idea where the space came from, but it has a book sleeve in it. And of course, I have the Taylor Swift Lover CD. I have Geekerella sitting on a stack of books next to all of my thrillers. And that is absolutely everything on my bookshelf. Thank you guys so much for watching my bookshelf tour. I'm still hoping editing will be able to pull that off. But I hope you enjoyed seeing absolutely every book on my shelf and hearing a little bit about some of the books, how I got them. Everyone's always so curious as to why I have three copies of Cinder. Now you know, even though I've explained it so many times, I'm probably gonna have to keep explaining it, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm a patient person sometimes. Not really, sometimes though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Aliyah Marie Books. I'll see you all next time. Bye.